2008, my wonderful granddaughter, Miss Harriet Snow, was seven years old. The Democratic nomination fight was going on, and knowing who I preferred, Harriet built me an Obama bus. Harriet and I made a silly movie. Now it's time for everybody to get on the Obama bus. The Obama bus play. Obama, Obama, he's the man we want. I urge you all to vote for him. And you used to be a Hillary supporter. Why did you change your mind? Everyone else in my family liked Obama. There you go. Da 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 da. And boy, did the haters come out of the woodwork for that one. Harriet, that first movie we made eight years ago when you were seven years old, people said the nastiest things. People are nuts. You were so nice to make me that Obama bus. Well, at first I was on the Hillary bus, but then I know how much you love Obama, so I made an Obama bus. And what a role reversal it is this year. You're 15, and I know how much you love Bernie, and you talked me into feeling the burn. So what do you think of the Bernie bus I made for you? I love it. Bernie's going to fight for us and keep Wall Street in check. He's going to reenact Glass-Steagall and put an end to stock buybacks which don't help the average guy. Just enrich the 1%. This campaign is about waging a political revolution in which millions of people, including all of you, begin to stand up and say loudly and clearly that the government of the United States belongs to all of us and not just a handful of millions. When we talk about the changes that we need, no American should be denied the opportunity of getting a college education because of his or her income. And that is why we are going to make public colleges and universities tuition free. With health care. We are going to join the rest of the industrialized world and say that in the United States of America, health care is a right, not a privilege. Together, in Alabama, in Vermont, all over this country, we are going to put an end to institutional racism. And we are going to reform in a very big way a broken criminal justice system. The people who run the country assume that many of you young people, people of color, are not going to vote. And when you don't vote, that vacuum is filled by big money interests who are spending huge amounts of money on super PACs. The truth of the matter is, we can bring about profound change in this country. But the only way we do it is when people become mobilized, when people begin to stand up and fight back. So Harriet, who should people vote for? Bernie Sanders. Thank you, Harriet. You have grown to be a remarkable young lady. Thank you. Feel the burn. Bernie, Bernie, he's the man for us. Everybody get on the Bernie bus. Woo!